Have you ever seen science experiments like these in which two materials react to each other? This is called a chemical reaction. Most of the time, when we hear the words chemical reaction, we think of these kinds of chemicals, synthesized and only used in special laboratories. Although it is true chemical reactions do take place in a scientific lab, we should also think about chemical reactions that are around us in everyday life. We just have to know where to look. Have you ever left a shiny piece of metal outside only to come back after a rainy day and find it's changed color? This is an example of a chemical reaction. When iron is combined with oxygen and water, they create a more complex substance called iron oxide, or how we know it, rust. Another chemical reaction we see is probably taking place in your backyard right now. It's called photosynthesis. When sunlight hits the green leaves of a plant, combined with water and carbon dioxide, the plant makes glucose and oxygen, yet another chemical reaction that is taking place in our lives right now. Yet another chemical reaction taking place around us is when we light a match. At first, this might seem like a physical change, but the chemicals themselves are the ones changing. First, a phosphorus tip is struck against a rough surface. The wood from the matchstick and the oxygen around it makes smoke, fire, and ashes, changing the chemical makeup of the match. And there you have it, just three examples of chemical reactions taking place all around us. So the next time you hear that chemical reactions, don't just think of a lab, think of the world around us, it's one big laboratory too.